Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Here we're gonna discuss about the algorithm of cryptography, which is Bluefish and Bluefish. From the organization chart, we can simply see the flow of Bluefish. We start from the upper higher cryptography to the private key to the block cipher and lastly to the Bluefish itself. Besides, this is algorithm comparison. From the table below, we can observe the lower row of the table, which gives us the sophistication of the Bluefish. What is Bluefish? From the image below, we can see the type cryptography which includes Bluefish as a symmetric key block cipher. Bluefish was designed in 1993 by Bruce Nair and was included in a large number of cipher series and encryption products. Blowfish provides a good encryption rate of in software and no effective cryptanalysis of it has been found to date. Chenaya designed Blowfish as a general purpose algorithm intended as an alternative to the aging DES and free of its problems and constraints associated with other algorithms. At the time Blowfish was released, many other designs were proprietary accumulated by patents or were commercial or government secrets. Bluefish is the one of the first secure ciphers, not limited by patents. Shania has stated that Bluefish is unpatented and will remain so in other countries. The algorithm is hereby placed in the public domain and can be freely used by anyone. The algorithm Blowfish has a 64-bit block size and a wearable key length from 32 bits up to 448 bit. This is Blowfish algorithm action. We can see from the image below the action and process in the Blowfish algorithm. Firstly, a 64-bit plain text message is first divided into 32 bits. The left 32 bits are sort with the first element of the array to create a value I will copy, which will run through a transformation function called f. The sort with the right 32 bits of the message to produce a new value I will call f. F then replace the left half of the message and p replace the right half. And the process is repeated 15 more times with successive members of the PRA. The resulting P and F are then sorted with the last 32 entries in the PRA, entries 17 and 18, and recombined to produce the 64 bit ciphertext. On the other hand, Blowfish algorithm has no no way to break the full 16 rounds of encryption. On the other hand, we see the graphic representation of F. We can see the image below. The function split 32 bits input into 4 8 bit quarters and use the quarters as input to the S boxes. S boxes accepts 8 bit input and produce 32 bits output. The outputs are added modulo 2, 32, and ZOR to produce the final 32 bits output. Because Blowfish is a symmetry algorithm, the same procedure is used for decryption as well as encryption. The only difference is that the input for encryption is plain text, and the input for decryption is ciphertext. The 
at the info for the blowfish is the fish pee schedule starts by initialization. The P array and S boxer with value derived from hexadecimal digits of PI which contain no obvious pattern. The secret key is then byte by byte, cycling the key if necessary, sort if with the all the P entries in order. A 64 bit all zero block is then encrypted with the algorithm as it stands. The resultant cybertext replaces P1 and P2. The same cybertext is then encrypted again with the new subkeys and the new cybertext replaces P3 and P4. This continues, replacing the entire P array and all the S boxes and trees. In all, the Blowfish encryption algorithm will run 521 times to generate all the subkeys. About 4 kilobytes of data is processed. Because the P array is 576 bits long and the key bytes are absorbed through all these 576 bits during the initialization, many implementations support key size up to 576 bits. While this is certainly possible, the 448 bits limit is here to ensure that every bit of every subkey depends on every bit of the key. As the last four values of the P array don't affect every bit of the cybertext. This point should be taken in consideration for implementation with a different numbers of rounds, as even though it increased security against an exhaustive attack, it weakens the security guaranteed by the algorithms. And given the slow initialization of the cipher with each chance of key, it is granted a natural protection against brute force attacks, which then really justify key size longer than 448 bits. Mm -hmm.